This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I hide masked areas of my model? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the demo dog here loaded in. Now I've divided the demo dog up some, so if I go to the geometry tab here, you can see he has three subdivisions. So the question is asking how to use masking to change the visibility or hide or show different parts of your mesh. So to start off, I'm just going to hold control, and this is going to select the default masking brush here. And I'm going to come across the dog, and with that control still being held, just click and drag to just mask part of the model. So I'm just going to apply a mask on the dog right here. Now, once you have masking on the model, you can use the options in the visibility tab to hide any unmasked areas. So I'm going to navigate to the tool palette over here and scroll down to the bottom to this visibility section and open that up. And in here, you'll have a hide points and a show points. So when you click this hide points button, it's going to look at any areas on your model that do not have masking, and it's going to hide those. So you can see I've masked this part of the dog out here. So if I click this hide points button, it's going to hide everything on the model except for that masked area. Now, if you want to get it so it hides the rest of the dog, I'm just going to undo this quick here you just need to invert your mask. So to invert a mask quickly, you can just hold control and just click on a blank spot of your canvas and this will flip the mask. And now if we click this hide points here, it's going to hide the unmasked area again. So it's going to hide this section of the dog. So I'll come over here and click that. And now I have that area hidden. So by simply just using the masking brush by holding control to mask out an area and then clicking hide points, it's going to hide any of the areas that are unmasked on your model. Once you have this like so, we can also do things like grow the visibility or shrink the visibility. We can also grow it all to the entire mesh, and we can even do things like just generate an outer ring around that masked area. So all sorts of different options using masking and visibility on your model. And the visibility tab again is located underneath the tool palette. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.